Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a patriotic spiral ice dye. So I'm back giving the microwave cover another try, which I got from I Got Dye On It. I think I got it right this time, guys. Anyways, does this thing really work? And I have to say, yes, it absolutely does. It makes a really nice spiral, but you must be careful not to tear a hole in the center of your shirt. I've torn two holes so far. Look how nice that spiral is and it really only took me like a minute. Secure your spiral with rubber bands or kite string, whichever you prefer. And I do have a link down below for everything that I use for tie-dye in the description box. So go ahead and check that out. It makes it really easy for ordering stuff. You just click the link and it'll take you right to it. Using a washable marker, mark out your pattern. And one thing I don't think I've mentioned before, or maybe I have, but I always try to position the tag of the shirt at the top of my spiral. Now it's time for the fun part, we get to add the dye. Darn it, some bounced off the rubber band, but that's okay. It's a nice die, so it's going to be random anyways. I'm only adding the soda ash where I place the dye. Usually you see me add ice to the entire project, but for this one, I want the white to have a chance to stay white. I know the dye is going to creep. So instead of using my nugget ice, I've decided to use my second favorite ice cubes. And I do have a link for these trays down below in the description box. 
I also have a tutorial that I made because I love these ice cubes that much. I'll put a link for that tutorial down below in the description box so you can check it out. I highly recommend these little ice cubes. After the first layer of ice melted, I came back and I added a second layer. Let the shirt batch 24 hours after the ice melts. And I apologize, I've lost the footage of the rinse out, so we're going to go right into the reveal. Well, here it is, guys. Here's our patriotic inspired spiral. Gosh, say that five times fast. Anyways, the ox blood ended up throwing out some orange and I'm not mad at it. I really do think it gives the shirt character and the navy blue sure is pretty. There's some purples in there. It's hard to tell in the photograph. The shirt looks much prettier in person, but these up close shots, you can sort of see those color splits. I really love ice dyeing. I should do a lot more of it. So what do you guys think of this shirt? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and click the bell for future notifications. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.